thing I love about the game is the physical aspect. It takes a special breed to play D-line. I mean, not anybody can do it. There's no nice guys on the D-line. I mean, I just hate to be about it. But there's not, especially interior. Yeah. I mean, you got it. It's, it's, it's different. I love being a bully. Yeah, because if you don't, they're going to take advantage of you. Yeah. They will. Especially offensive linemen. God, I hate them. Ugh. We, we agree on that. Oh, God. All you offensive linemen out there. Can't stand you. You don't like you. Can't stand you. You're, you're at the luxury of being an incredible player, first of all. Secondly, you're at the position that is highly coveted in the game of football. How has it been for you so far? It's been good. I mean, it's been a long process, a drawn out process, but I've enjoyed it. I mean, just going around to speaking to different teams, mm -hmm. players, coaches, GMs, it's something I'll probably never get to do again. So I just try to take it for what it's worth. But I'm, I'm, I'm ready for it to be over and just get, get into the season. What do you think makes you the player you are? I got to go with work, at, work ethic. I mean, our dads were in the military for 23 years, and that's something that's a big thing growing up. They mm -hmm. always preach attention to detail, commitment, accountability, responsibility, things you hear everybody say, but not a lot of guys really take seriously until later on in life. So growing up like that and then going playing for Coach Saban in Alabama, yeah. I mean, he just took it to a whole nother level. So I really think me practicing and mastering my craft is you know, what made me the player I am today. That probably helped you when you, you went to play for Alabama with Coach Saban. Oh, not even close, 100%. I see a lot of guys coming there who didn't have that father figure pushing them growing up. They get to Alabama and they struggle. I mean, mm -hmm. they struggle and it's hard because they're not used to having a male figure on top of them and pushing them like Coach Saban does. So who do you model your game after though? Model my game, if we're looking at people nowadays, I, there's two guys I kind of look at, mm -hmm. Geno Atkins and Aaron Donald. You know, yeah. some of my brother said, he's a big sports junkie and he said, when I look for great players, I want them to jump off the screen to me. And that's what those guys do when I watch those games. They just, it's not hard to find them. They're making play after play, being disruptive. And that's kind of what I want to do and how I see myself being in the future, potentially. You, you think you're a better pass rusher or a better run stopper? Or oh, are you just good at both? I feel like I'm good at both, but I'm definitely, I'm definitely a better pass rusher. Favorite sack, who to come against, quarterback-wise? Favorite sack was Brady, Super Bowl 42. Okay. Good old chop club move, man. I see it like yesterday, got off a good break off the line. Chop club, ran him down, sacked him, got up, flexed. One of my favorite pictures I have hanging up is I'm like this, and OC's right behind him over my left shoulder, and then Brady's like back there on the ground with his head with the ball. <laughs> and it was just a telling picture on how that whole season ended for us. What's the best offensive line you played against? Best offensive lineman I ever played against was Eric Williams, Dallas Cowboys. Okay, makes Man, sense. That sucker was mean, brother. <laughs> mean, mean, mean. And, but it was worth it. Be, playing against him made playing against anybody else a lot easier. Yeah. You're going to hear about so many great players before you play them and hear how great they are. You need to play against them yourself and you form your own opinion. And that was some of the best advice I ever got because a lot of guys I heard a lot about, they were garbage. Yeah. Then a lot of guys I didn't hear a lot about, they give you the business. Yeah. <laughs> so you got to get out there and each one learn for yourself. What are you looking most forward to? I'm looking, I'm looking forward to the first day we put pads on. That's really? I'm, I'm looking forward to going at it. I mean, I, <laughs> I, lo I love the game. I want to be around. I'm ready to play. I'm just ready to play. I mean, I love competition because that brings yeah. the best out of you. So, I mean, I have such a high expectation, a high standard for me that anything anybody else has is not even close to what But what drives I, that? What drives my desire to be great and my fact that I hate to get I hate to get embarrassed, I hate to lose. I hate losing more than I like winning. Hey, can we send that to all the NFL coaches out there today? <laughs> get the, they're all gonna be salivating over you hearing that. So you're ready to go. I'm just chomping at the bits to get after it. You have that switch. Got to. What if what if they put you on a team and it's like, oh, this isn't the team I want to play with, or it's not that great. What you gonna do? I'm gonna play with them, it don't matter. You gonna trade yourself? No, I'm gonna play with them. <laughs> I'm gonna play with them. Work hard, good things happen to you. Simple enough. Simple enough. I appreciate you, man. man I appreciate you. And on top me. of it all, I want to take a little stress off you, right? So I'm going to hook you up, brother. Oh, I got you a suit. So I'm, this is just a suit here, but I'm going to get you shirts, socks, belts, ties, cufflinks, head to toe. Hopefully, I'm going to make this man's life a lot easier. And um, that's my gift to you. And then hopefully I get the like Mike effect. Be like Mike. Exactly. <laughs> Jordan, exactly. not straight hand. Ah! <laughs> thank you, man. I appreciate cool, man. you. I thank you. Appreciate you having me. No, you kidding me? My pleasure. You're going to look good on draft day. For real, I like it. Better than I look.